Yo, what is going on, guys? Dylan Moore here, and welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2004 for race 26 and 36. Today, we are going to be at Richmond International Raceway for race 26, Chevrolet Rock and Roll 400. I will keep these same colors for the rest of the year, except for the fan made design challenge. For the winner, We'll get their scheme featured in the Alabama 500 that I will record and will go live on November 6th. I like that. I really like that swoosh design, so I'm going to keep the swoosh as the primary Mary design choice. Let's go. Did I mention how awesome Avenged Sevenfold is? <laughs> Just the way in Chapter 4 that violin goes off in the second part of the chorus. Oh. Hey, the big, it's going to be a 1, 2, 3, big 3 qualifying. That moment when you realize the fall Richmond race, which is one of the favorite races, your favorite races you like to watch is on this was on the same day as Homecoming. Hey, at least you got to watch a good bit of it. Well, a good bit of the first half, second half. Ugh. God damn. All right. Short track racing under the lights tonight from the Richmond International Raceway. What's in store for us on this track, Barney? Richmond is a great racetrack. It's always fun to come here. We should see some close racing, so anything can happen here. The NBC car has a string of top fives going. You know, people get so concerned with wins. Me, I'll take consistent top fives all year long over a win. Besides, when you're constantly finishing in the top five, a win is just around the corner. Kurt Busch has a solid top 10 spot in the standing so far. Yeah, he needs to focus on this race. A poor finish can quickly bounce you out of the top 10. But a win can gain you several positions, might even put you in the top five. We'll see what happens. Johnny Benson is towards the bottom of the points list this season. And, of course, nobody wants to be on the bottom of that points list. You'll have to work extra hard to pick up spots. Not an easy task to dig yourself out of a hole in this series. Is it me or does Barney Hall sound too much like George W. Bush? Anyways, Robbie Gordon's with the inverse paint scheme. Um, Jerry Nadeau's got the camo paint scheme. And Dale Jarrett looks like he has the Muppets paint scheme. I do like that spoof. <laughs> that spoof is always freaking beast. That switch is beastly though. Be perfectly honest. Now let's take a look at the starting lineup. <laughs> the 115 car, NASCAR Winston Cup points leader, will be starting for the pole. Next to Jeff Gordon. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but these races have been getting a heck of a lot shorter when I record these. Not sure why, but because a lot of y'all are, a lot of you guys are expecting me to do like you know full three and a half hour races. I'm like, no, no, I'm not. It takes too much time, and I'm not gonna. I will do everything in my power to make you not sit through an hour long of uh, gameplay Madden. I can't really do anything about that because the clock freezes. Um, but here, in, when I do the NASCAR stuff, anytime there's a caution, laps start clicking off under yellow. So it would allow for the shorter videos. That and I do shorter races. So, yeah. How about that display of patriotism by uh, Jerry Nadeau with the American flag on the deck lid of his Pontiac? 
Pace car is off. Me and Jeff Gordon bring the field down. The green flag is out at Richmond. Dale Jr. with a strong run on the inside, barely led that lap. Ricky Rudd tries to force the issue on the inside, thinks better of it. Dale Jr. in Capitol Peak are going to try to begin to pull away here at Richmond. With a hot charging and revenge hungry Ricky Rudd behind. Now to turn two, Junior. He is he is good at Richmond. I mean, in the mid two thousands, he actually won the spring race uh, twice in the span of three years. Um, I think he won the May race in two thousand at here at Richmond, not the September race. The September race went to Gordon. Went to Jeff Gordon. Um, Anyways, Bobby Labonte is taken third from Ricky Rudd. Stewart slides to fourth. Junior, I take the lead from Junior going into turn one. Another lap led. Pulling away from Junior this time. Junior trying to look low. Bobby Labonte, Tony Stewart, and uh, I think I saw Ricky Rudd fall to fifth last time by, unless that changed. But so far, it's a Chevy 1, 2, 3, 4. There's, I like to call it, a bow tie beatdown. Mark Martin gets in fifth. So let's go on board the NBC Sports Chevrolet. So far, I've let Junior led a bit of the early half of this race. I've taken over. I have a one and a half second lead on Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the midst of the bow tie beat down here at Richmond in the Chevrolet Monte Carlo 400. I mean, how fitting that a Chevrolet is actually running out front in the Chevrolet Monte Carlo 400. Even though I don't think a Chevrolet won this race till like 2006 with Kevin Harvick. Well, won this event at least is uh, Kyle Petty is uh, blowing an engine. Thank God this is before pit stops, so oh um, that doesn't cause any major traffic issues.
I'm basically gapping Dale Earnhardt Jr. right now. I'm going to pit lap 21. 21. Lap 21 is when I'm going to come down pit road or whenever Jr. pits, um, which will probably be around lap 21 anyway, or unless a caution comes out. And we're starting to catch lap traffic because I can see the 26 Kevin Grubb, 46 of uh, Ashton and Lewis, and I think I saw the 16 of Greg Biffle in that shot, and the zero of Jack Sprague down there as well. I am catching Kevin Grubb quite a bit, lap by lap. Running that, this fuel tank as dry as I can. I'm running it, this thing as hard as I can until I have to pick. Because I'm doing, because I've tried doing two tires, I've tried doing no tires at this track. It is basically a death sentence. I think Junior's, yeah, Junior's still in second right now. Um, so I'm going to pick pit the time after next. Okay, Ken Trader. Forget how to enter pit road, buddy. I think Ken Trader forgot how to enter pit road. Tony Stewart has moved to second. And Junior is going to ask for it. I'm pitting right here. Yeah, I'm pitting here. Screw that. <laughs> side by side down pit road next to Greg Biffle. There's Junior. Came down on pit road that last time. Harvick nearly forced an awkward mess between mess coming off pit road because he was trying to get to my inside, I believe. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was trying to get to my inside. And uh, me and Dale Jr. were 1 2 early on in this race. Only difference now is our roles are reversed. Not sure if Neiman. Fuck you, Ken Trader. I swear to God, get out of my damn way. Hey, I took the lead on that pit stop. Who's in second? Stewart. Ken Trader, if you don't move, you are going to be the caution, by the way. See, how far back is Tony Stewart? I'm curious. Or sorry, Bobby Labonte. Four seconds. Almost five. Heavy traffic up ahead. So this means Stewart could catch Bobby Labonte or Tony Stewart could catch me. Um He's four and a half sec, almost 4.7 seconds back. It was just like when uh, me and Kevin Harvick were racing at Dover, and I was drafting behind Kyle Petty the entire time just to see if Harvick would catch me. Well, um, we're in that same situation. Both the races were 40 laps. Now it's time to see if Bailamani is going to catch me, which probably doesn't look to be the case. Oh, contact between me and Nemechek, Nemechek and Schrader. 
led the most laps in this race. Right, let off right here. Oh, we got a car up in the wall. Or somebody, somebody had a big problem with that last time. If I can. See if I can get straighter out of the way. Oh. Ooh. Ow. Okay. Thanks, Schrader. Proving why you're an idiot. Why is Ken Schrader does not deserve a fucking drive. Yeah, Schrader's going into the wall the first time. Once Harv gets by, Schrader's going to go into the wall. And there he goes. Big contact that time. We're going to race back to the caution flag. Schrader looks like he's uh, on fire. Hey, Tony Stewart was catching us that time, even though we were the fastest car on the racetrack at the moment of yellow. It's because Schrader couldn't move. The only reason I did that is because Schrader can't seem to figure out, you know, what a gas pedal is. Green flag is back out at Richmond. Two friends, one one friend, two enemies, and one person that is making an aggressive move on the inside. Damn it. Mulfrit, he was the idiot that drove into me. Six to go. Now we're going to try to play, see if we can boot, see if we can get to Stewart. Sorry, 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 sorry. Not. Free car fight for the win. Johnson. Has not won all year. We're putting the bumper to him. Johnson looks to the inside. Three wide. Both cars into the wall. And there's a crash. Stewart crashes. Johnson crashes. There's a big mess. Who emerges in second? Ryan Newman. Will we have enough time to restart? Had that situation. Johnson crashes. Stewart crashes. Johnson proves why he's a talentless hack in this situation. Yep. Now we're going to get ready for another exciting short track restart. One last lap here at, here at Richmond. Newman making an aggressive move on the bottom and a ballsy move at that. Still side by side. Newman gets the spot. This could be a photo finish right here. Newman off of four. Side by side. I think Newman got it. Shoving Har Trader into Harvick. Guess what? When you don't, it can get ugly. The 115 car made some friends out there during the Ace. race. Yeah, yeah, so with Junior. Rules, well, it applies in NASCAR as well. You got to treat other drivers with respect in order to earn theirs. This has been NASCAR Winston Pepper. I was trying to thread the needle right there. And MRN. So long. We'll see you next week at the New Hampshire Wow.
I was threading the needle. Minus 80 for Ken Schrader, plus 28 for Jeff Gordon, minus 40 for Tony Stewart, and plus 96 for Dale Jr. Ryan Newman wins tonight. Chevrolet Rock and Roll 400. Capital Peak finishes second. Tony Stewart third. Bobby Labonte fourth. Ricky Rudd fifth. Jimmy Johnson sixth. Jeff Gordon seventh. Rusty Walls eighth. Matt Kenseth ninth. And Johnny Benson tenth. You saw how crazy tight that last bit was. I was threading the needle between New Johnson and Stewart. Johnson shuts the door. I was hoping it would be like some some Mission Impossible stuff or something, um, where I where I split the middle between both uh, Stewart and Johnson. Anyways, um, tune in for the. The, uh, for the race for the Sylvania 300 October 11th. Mem requests are getting tight. You have a few more weeks after this until I stop accepting them. November 2nd is when I, I will stop accepting requests. November 2nd at midnight. Mount. So after the IHOP Cup Series race at Phoenix is when I will stop taking requests.